welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. And today I am headed to yet another rummage sale. We just have so many of them in this area. I never actually realized that we have that many. I mean, I know we have a lot, but I mean, in comparison to other areas, I thought that it was just kind of like a normal thing because we've just always had so many of them. So anyway, this one is normally pretty good. Sometimes they have an off season, but for the most part, it's, it's usually a pretty good one. Last, the last one they had in the fall was actually very, very good. I found a lot of great stuff, so hopefully it is the same this time around. So we shall see. Let's see here. No. Um, yeah, we know you see it. I know, I can't stay home. Now, uh, that was a gallbladder. <laughs> no, not as much as last time. A lot. Yeah, there were. Oh, I didn't know. don't have as much as last year. All right, so now headed home from that sale. It wasn't as impressive as last time, but what are you going to do? I 
and see if I can show you guys this lake. They drained this lake recently. I used to come here and walk a lot. And now it is literally just grown up weeds in there. All of that, all of that was a lake. This was actually a walkway, which now they have, they've torn that up as well. But yeah, all of this, all of this was a lake like a year ago. So I think they were, I think they drained it to maybe repair the dam or something like that. There's also all kinds of trails around here. But I think that's what they did. I think they drained it to fix the dam, if I remember correctly. And I think they're going to try to have it refilled by next year, maybe. Uh, people would go there and fish and take their boats out and everything else. So it, it was actually a really nice place to go. Except for the fact that they had some ducks. And these ducks would chase me on occasion when I would be walking in the morning. So... Yeah, that was a little freaky. Ducks and chickens, I don't know. They just, uh, they terrify me. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you what I got once I get home. It's, it's not the most impressive haul, you know, but it happens sometimes. All right, so let me show you what I got at this rummage sale. I hope the lighting is okay. I usually have one light on either side of me. I had to turn one of them off because it was a little bit overkill with the light from my skylight coming in. Even though it's kind of gray and raining again, there's still a lot of light coming in from that side. So I spent, I believe it was either 30 or 40 at this sale. And then I also spent an extra 15 on the way out at checkout. They had a jewelry table set up and I bought some stuff from that. So that was separate from this, but this was either 30 or 40. I need to start writing this down. But the sale was a couple days ago. I'm finally doing the haul now. And I honestly can't remember. I've been to so many. I've been to four rummage sales this weekend. So bear with me here. Let's get into the haul. So I picked up this block. Block spell bowl. I've sold this pattern before in, in the uh, yellow. It was, it's actually the yellow pattern is called a little... Something different though. This is uh, Persia, the black one. This is 1990. Block is another another one of my favorite dinnerware brands to sell, although I don't find it as often. But this is just a nice serving bowl. And I picked this up. This is a Radio Shack cassette tape recorder. I haven't looked this up. I just kind of picked this up on a whim just to see how it does. I don't sell a whole lot of electronics. I know some people still use these. What is it? The, uh, the Long Island Medium. Doesn't she use a cassette recorder in her sessions? <laughs> I mean, I, you know, however you want to do it. Some people are used to a certain way of doing things. So we'll see, see how that does. And then I picked up I picked up this topsy-turvy tomato planter. This I'm gonna use for myself. I am gonna to try to plant some tomatoes in this and hang it from something and hopefully they won't get eaten by the deer. <laughs> so last time I tried using one of these a few years ago and it really didn't work out too well. Tomatoes are really hard to grow for me for some reason. I don't know, maybe I just don't have that green thumb, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a shot again this year. All right, maybe for like some cherry tomatoes or something small. So for clothing, I picked this up. I just thought it was fun. A cheeseburger and french fry print. The brand is called Get a Life and it's kind of, it looks to be kind of worn unless they printed it that color. I don't know. I just thought that was fun. Then I picked up a Catherine's extra or 2x women petite this is new with tags it's got three quarter bell sleeves it's got a little bit of pin tuck detail in the front 
just thought that might be a nice top for spring for someone. Picked up this Champion. It has a vintage look to it, but I don't think it's it's vintage. It's almost like a kind of like a muscle tee. It reminds me of. It's got like the cap sleeve thing going on. Thought that was kind of neat. This is a swimsuit cover up by Jordan Taylor. Don't really know Jordan Taylor. I haven't sold that brand before, but these are popular this time of year. It's just a mesh diamond print kind of cover up sit by the pool with that this is a nautica navy blue and red chain print button front shirt it's got the roll tab sleeve so you can roll them up to make them shorter if you'd like this is a faux leather Roz and ali looks like a biker vest it's got the asymmetrical zip thought that was kind of neat just into this leather stuff lately i keep picking up Picked up some American Eagle kick boot jeans, very good condition. These are a size six short. So I always pick up the shorts or the longs when I can find them. I actually found two pair of these. So they will be a multi-quantity listing. That's the second pair. Picked up a pair of silver jeans, a Suki boot cut. These usually sell pretty well for me too. These, let's see, what are these? These are a, hmm, I don't know what size these are. I don't see it. Maybe they're a five? Could that be? Could that be a size five right there? I think that's an S for silver. That is, look. All right, what the heck size are these? I'm going to guess they're a six because they're in with the other sixes. I am not sure. And then I picked up a pair of Wranglers. These are premium patch. I don't really sell this brand too often, but I figured I'd give them a shot. These are a junior size seven. So I am guessing those silver jeans are six. I will have to dig around a little bit more and see if I can find the size. All right, then we have a LuLaRoe Irma tunic in a 2XL. I This I probably, a printed tunic like this, it's kind of basic for LuLaRoe, and I probably wouldn't have picked this up if it wasn't at the rummage sale, but it was at the rummage sale, and it's a bigger size, so that is good. All right, then I picked up some ooh, picked up some shoes. These are Dr. Comfort. They actually came with some of the insoles. Three, three packs. Three packs of the... Uh, Three packs of the insoles. And I believe that they are, I believe they're new. So these are basically like, I think like diabetic shoes and comfort shoes. These are a black size eight and a half extra wide. I don't know if these are women's or men's. I'm going to have to look these up. But I feel like they will do well, especially with all these extra, extra inserts. I think I will probably put these with the shoes. But I might... I, I'm going to research that a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. Then I picked... I forgot about these. I put these to the side. I picked up this top. It's just a t-shirt, uh, the cozy tee. I might keep this for myself. That's why I picked it up. Although sometimes I don't really like wearing like floral prints. They just don't look right on me, but I'm going to try it and see how it fits. Then I picked up a pair of Coldwater Creek three quarter chambray pants. These are new with tags and they are a 2X. So that wraps it up for the clothing, and then I'll show you the rest of the shoes. I picked up a pair of Skechers, as always. These are very gently used. Peep toe, the woven knit kind of, kind of thing here. These are, they are a size eight. Size eight. These are a pair of Land's End. It's kind of a 
moccasin type shoe and they are an eight as well. Then we have a pair of naturalizer boots. These smell like soup. That sounds weird, doesn't it? But like, that's what I smell. I smell like a bowl of soup in front of me right now. It smells like a rummage sale, these things. And I don't know, these feel a little bit hard. They look to be in really nice condition. But they do feel like a little hard to me. I don't think this is, it's man-made. It's not real leather. So that's, that's the issue with these. And I probably wouldn't have picked those up if they weren't at, at the rummage sale. And then I have a pair of Foot Joy golf shoes, black and brown. These are the Dry Joys. <clears throat> and uh, look to be in pretty darn good condition. I think they are gently used, but not too bad. So that, that wraps it up for another rummage sale haul. Wait, 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 wait. I'm always forgetting something. I have to show you the jewelry. I dropped it. That's why I forgot about it. Okay, so for the jewelry that I purchased, I picked up this Chico's. It's kind of a leopard print statement necklace. This is also Chico's. It's another statement necklace. I, I know Chico's is very expensive. And some of their stuff is really neat looking. And I figure these are definitely going to sell. I'm trying to get the little, the little chains, chains. They have a, it's got a metal, a metal fringe. Some of these are tangled up here. All right. Look at, ah, oh, one of them just fell off. Oh man, I'm going to have to see if I can fix that. That's a bummer. I should be able to fix that though, because look at this. This is like really pretty. This is really pretty. All right, I am going to have to place this off to the side here and try to fix that when I am done here. That's a bummer. This here is also Chico's, just a multi-strand, multi-strand beaded necklace. And the last piece, also Chico's. It's just, just kind of a neat silver piece. Not real silver, just silver tone. That's what I got. And of course my favorite piece broke. What the heck? All right, guys. So that wraps up the haul. It wasn't as spectacular as it has been in some of the other seasons. They normally have two other rooms. They normally have this big room and then they have two rooms off to the side. One is always filled with toys and games. And then another one is just all the baby and children's clothing. This time they had everything in one. So they've definitely downsized this sale and hopefully next time will be better. It is what it is and just got to keep checking them out because you never know what they're going to have. All right, guys, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Please comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And till next time, bye.